Uh, if we move on down to number six, split my equal sign. What do I want to do first? Plus four. Yeah, just so um, if people aren't here and that are coming later, they can watch it in Google Classroom if they need to. Um, negative four plus four, we cancel that. What's 17 plus four? 21. 21. Then what? Divide by seven. seven. Great job. Seems like you guys are getting this, which is good. You're getting a nice head start on what you're going to be learning in eighth grade. Even though I think this is still seventh grade, technically, but we'll make it more complicated today. All right, number eight, what do I want to do first? Plus eight, that's right. Negative three X equals nine. And now I'm going to divide. Again, remember, we see that negative three and a lot of times our brain goes, oh, I'm going to add three now. But that's not what we're doing because we're multiplying negative three by X. We're going to divide by negative three. And X equals negative three. Why is my X equal to negative three and not just three? Gives me a exactly right. A positive divided by a negative. That's going to give me a negative. Finally, number 10. Split my equal sign. Um, what am I going to do first? Am I going to divide by 2, multiply by 2? Plus 10. That's right. We're going to get rid of that plus 10 first. Remember, it's like reverse PEMDAS. So we want to start with the addition and subtraction and then do the multiplication and division. So x over 2 is equal to, what's negative 6 plus 10? Four. Positive 4. Again, if we've got our minus and pluses, I've got six minuses, ten pluses. I've got more pluses than minuses, so my answer is going to be positive. And I've got four more here, so that's what I get, positive four. Now, x divided by two, what's the opposite of dividing by two? Multiplying by two. And x gives me eight. eight. Great job. Just so we can review the answers here, uh, what did you guys get for number one? X equals, X equals four, very nice. Number three, we got X equals six. Negative one, that's right, because we're going to end up with 10x equals negative 10. And a negative divided by a positive gives me a negative. Great job. What about number seven? X equals negative four. Good. And finally, number nine, x is equal to... What is it? X equals eight? X equals 24? Let's see, let's see, let's see. We're going to minus 2 minus 2, right? X over 4 equals 6. How can I get rid of this divided by 4? I'm multiplying by 4. Now, the division one's always tricky, so I totally understand we got a variety of answers here. But we do end up there with 24. You have to mark it wrong. Just make a little change. Whatever, see what you did wrong and then just fix it. That's, all, that's what it's all about. Right. On to the back. Number 12. We got another one of those weird division problems. What's the first thing I want to do here in number 12? Um, plus 12. Plus 12. Now what's negative 2 plus 12? 10. 10. 10 or negative 10? 10. 10. 10. Good. Great confidence. Now what? 40. 40? Multiply by four, good, and we get 40. There we go. Number 14, split my equal sign. I'm gonna start by doing what? Negative one minus one, good. Gives me negative six X equals negative 12. And then I'll divide by negative 6. Now, what's a negative divided by a negative going to give me? 
positive. And what's 12 divided by 6? 2. Boom. X equals 2. Number 16, I'm going to add 5 to both sides, plus 5, plus 5, 20x equals 60. Divide. Now I'm going to divide by 20. Now let's take a look at this for a second, because this one is interesting. If I've got 60 over 20, right? This is like saying 6 times 10 over 2 times 10, yeah. right? So I can cancel out the 10s. And 6 divided by 2 gives me 3. So whenever, whenever we have a, a multiple of 10 over a multiple of 10, kind of like our zeros cancel each other out. And we just look at those numbers in front. Number 18, I'm going to add 12, add 12. I get 9x equals 27. And how many times does 9 go into 27? Three. Three times. You guys are killing it. It's good. Finally, I'm going to minus 5. I get x over 10 equals 0. And I multiply by 10. What's 0 times 10? 0 times 10? 0. Did I do something wrong? Yes. What did I do wrong? Negative 10. Negative 10 is not 0. Oh, right here, negative 5 minus 5. What, what should that be? Negative 10. Negative 10. Good. But again, these are those quick mistakes. You feel confident. You're going super fast. You might be able or you might uh, end up making one of those mistakes. So negative 5 minus 5, as you said, is negative 10. Then when we multiply by 10, we get negative 100. Sounds right to me. So we could have really, really big values of x. We could have really, really small values of x. Um, we could have fractions, like we saw in the warm-up. We could have positives. We could have negatives. x can be anything. Let's quickly go through the answers here. What did you get for number 11? x equals negative. Negative 10. Sounds right to me. What about 13? x equals 1 half. x equals 1 half. Good. We end up with 2 over 4 here. Then we just cancel out those 2's and we get 1 half. Number 15, we get x is equal to negative, negative 4. Good. Everyone's right. What about 17? Negative, negative 11. Negative 11, yep. Sounds almost exactly like the warm-up. And number 19? Negative 28. Negative 28? Yeah, that's right. Good job. Negative 2, we get negative 14 times 2, negative 28. Yep, perfect. All right, do me a favor. Uh, put those back in your folders and get signed on to your Chromebooks for me real quick.